In this bill will be a change in terms of state uh, employees not being required uh, to be a part of their union. Um, Walker says he is fulfilling a campaign to promise to make public employees pay more for their pensions and health care. But many think he has gone too far by trying to remove most of the collective bargaining rights of public employees. Disguised as a budget repair bill, what he introduced was a bill that would strip us of all of our public sector bargaining rights. Unions would no longer be able to negotiate over any working conditions, any benefits whatsoever. It was a shock, I have to tell you. It's the most outrageous uh, anti-union act that we've seen in this country in, in any recent time. I came to the rally today because I think that uh, what's happening now is it's a war against uh, our entire way of life. I think that the reactionary right is being funded by a lot of people who want to take us back about 100 years and basically drag everybody down except for themselves. It's not about the money, but we need the right to negotiate and we deserve the right to talk things out. We conceded to giving furloughs, no raises, bigger contributions to our retirement and health care, and they still voted it down. And the governor will not talk to us, nor will the Republican legislators. The Democrats left, they walked out so that there wasn't enough people for a quorum to, to be able to vote. I do think that all of these people showing up for this has in fact um, given them the data, the facts that they need to say our constituents, the state of Wisconsin does not want this bill, we need to listen. It was great, It was you could hardly walk, it was so packed you could hardly move, but all, all different types of people. You had retired people, you had working people, you had young families, you had young children. It was really great seeing everybody come out and supporting each other and, and being good for each other and showing the caring that's going on between all of the workers in the state of Wisconsin. The um, camaraderie of all of the public service workers has been wonderful. When I saw the firefighters come through and a little girl sitting on her daddy's shoulders with his fire hat on supporting us, it was a tearful moment. You're stronger than your governor. You're stronger than his CEO backers. And you're stronger because we're united to defend the dream that is the essence of America. The, the beautiful thing about the firefighters and the police leading every parade is that in Governor Walker's attempt to divide the union, he exempted the police, the state troopers, and the firefighters from this owner's legislation. He wanted to, to make sure that they didn't show up to, to help us and stand with us. And instead, what he's done is just, just galvanize the House of Labor. And we are ready to stand in the trenches with you. We are ready to fight on the front lines with you. You fought for the right to have to let the party. And by God, there's no damn thing legislature that is taking away from us. It's so inspirational. And I think it's going to be transformative for a whole generation because we have college students, we have young teachers, young nurses, all part of these rallies here. This is just an incredible feeling. It's an incredible scene. It, it seems like, you know, it's the start of something real, something big. It's very movement-like. You know, it's students and workers fighting for one another. We've been having folks in this building all the time since, uh, I guess it was Tuesday night. This is the worst abuse of process and abuse of power that I have seen in my lifetime, and you, my friends, my colleagues, my brothers and sisters, are on the front line. God bless you. I am in awe of you. <laughs> Scott Walker opened a door and I think he's going to regret it. We don't know what's going to happen with this bill in the coming days and weeks, but what we do know is that 
what's been created here in this past seven days is going to go on for a long, long time. This is probably the most incredible thing I've ever been a chance to be a part of. This is the rebirth of a new kind of labor movement here, not only in Wisconsin, but all across the country. This is, this is the place to be. This is where the fight is. We're going to go to Indiana. We're going to go to Michigan. We're going to go to Ohio. We're going to fight back and defend things there. And then we're going to take it on the road, and we're going to organize new workers. And it's because we've got so much energy and enthusiasm 